In order to tie the Weston knot, the first thing you have to understand is that the left hand has to be supinated and the right hand has to be pronated during the course of the, the knot tying. You have to be able to hold the instrument of the needle driver and the suture pusher or the knot tire just in your two ulnar digits so that these three fingers can be free. You always want to hold the, the suture at the tips of your fingers so that you're able to maneuver it. The first thing that you want to do is you want to cross the suture over and pull the thumb underneath the bottom. So before you pull this suture through, you actually take your index finger and make a figure of eight. At that point, you pull the suture all the way through and grab it to the tip so that you can stick your second finger through the bottom and put it between those two fingers like that. You pull it underneath back over the top and at this point you have to actually take your right hand and hold the knot pusher and the needle driver so that you can tuck it back underneath and that way it goes up over and back down under you pull it all the way through to kind of dress the knot and then once you get to that point you let that go and you only hold the post to pull it down once you get it to the bottom you reload your needle driver and you lock the knot, which makes it click usually. And that's it.